Hi everyone, I'm Fred Camillo and I represent the 151st District of Greenwich, Connecticut. Starting a small business is a huge undertaking and it can be overwhelming to keep up with the state reporting requirements. But don't worry, I am here to walk you through the reporting requirements for maintaining a business here in Connecticut. Step 1. File your annual report. Each business registered in Connecticut must file an annual report with the Secretary of State's office. This requirement applies to both domestic and foreign entities. Filing this report is a great opportunity to fix or change any information pertaining to your business. The fee for filing the annual report is $20 for LLCs and LLPs, but is set to increase to $80 July 1, 2020. You must file the report even if your business information has not changed. Failing to file the annual report can result in the dissolution of your business or prevent you from obtaining a certificate of good standing for your business. The Secretary of State's office will send you an email as a reminder when it is time to file your annual report. Filing corporate taxes. The other major filing that you will be responsible for is one that we are all familiar with, tax filings. Depending on the type of business you have and the organizational structure of your business, you may be responsible for different tax liabilities. We will focus on the most common ones, the business entity tax, corporation business tax, sales and use tax, and withholding tax. We will start off with some good news. As of March 2020, you will no longer be responsible for the business entity tax, which was a $250 flat tax imposed on every other year. The tax was repealed in the 2019 legislative session. Corporate business tax is mandatory for businesses in Connecticut. It is calculated by a formula based on the business's net income or the minimum tax, whichever is greater. Connecticut also imposes a sales and use tax. Most retail sales, the lease of tangible personal property, and certain services are subject to the sales and use tax at a rate of 6.35%. The use tax applies to taxable tangible personal property or services on which the seller did not collect Connecticut sales tax. Another tax that impacts business is the income withholding tax. A business must, must withhold income taxes in Connecticut when the business maintains an office in or is interacting with the state of Connecticut and is considered an employer for federal income tax purposes. Most importantly, Connecticut's Department of Revenue Services offers a variety of business tax credits. Check out their website to see if your business is eligible. Starting your business is an exciting time and we want to help you succeed. If you have any questions, please visit the Connecticut Business and Industry Association at cbia.com. Thank you for doing business in Connecticut.